Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. Welcome back. Heavy storms rolling through parts of Acadiana this morning. We're getting the latest now from StormTrack 15 meteorologist Adam Olivier. Good morning, Adam. Yeah, Alex, we've been seeing a very wet morning, especially south of I-10, where some pretty heavy rain has popped up this morning and hasn't really been moving much. In fact, it's all just kind of coming together here into Vermilion and Iberia parishes. But we'll start out along the I-10 corridor where we had some very heavy rain earlier this morning. Now just some light to moderate rain moving into Lafayette. Heavier pockets in Sunset just to your east over towards Portage and then Henderson seeing some of that stretching out over the Basin Bridge. That's kind of where the heaviest of this rain is down towards parks as well. Now some pretty heavy rain once again entering into Crawley and rain. There's been this band that just kind of set up here and intermittently has been providing you with some pretty heavy downpours. Ebony's are getting in on some of that too. We go down to the south and this is where all the rain is kind of coming together at between Youngsville, New Iberia, Avery Island, Abbeville. This area kind of centered right over Delcom, in fact, and stretching back towards Erath. That's where we're seeing some really, really heavy rain. And this is just going to kind of sit here. We're not really seeing any movement to this, but if it is moving a little bit, maybe over towards the New Iberia area, just to a little bit to the east. Intracoastal City, just to your north, seeing some of that heavy rain, which stretches back into Abbeville, up towards Kaplan, straight down 82 towards Cow, Cow Island, and then over towards Gaydon some light to moderate rain, but all this is just going to kind of hang around the area and our future cast shows that through nine o'clock this morning, we're expecting that rain to just kind of linger down mainly along the coast. Now, does this mean if you're north of I-10 or if you're off to the west, you don't see anything? No, you'll still see some rain, but the heaviest of the rain should remain down in the coastal parishes by midday. Still the same areas seeing those pockets of heavier rain. Eventually, we get some drier times here as we approach 3 p.m. today with a lot of cloud cover out there, maybe a peak of sunshine. But our model says that by 5 o'clock, well, it looks like we could see more rain building down around the coast, stretching northward as this southerly wind continues to blow on in, bringing that moisture, that humidity, and those storm chances. So high temperatures today, I think a little bit warmer inland, lower 80s there. You may even see a peak of sunshine down closer to the coast. Probably the upper 70s at best with that rain just kind of lingering around for much of the day and then going forward. This is through the next three days. How much rain are we expecting? Well, there's a big bullseye here right along the coast from I-10 southward and you look at our scale here three to four to even five inches of rain in pockets out there. So we're talking about some pretty wet times. Now if that falls over the next three days. We don't have a big problem. But if you get two, three inches in an hour, that's where the flood threat really starts to take up. And because of that, some of these storms are expected Saturday to kind of do that type of thing. A slight risk for that excessive rainfall. The flood potential exists for all of Acadiana. We go into Sunday, similar deal going on for all of Acadiana. So we're looking at that flood threat lingering in your forecast here, not only today, but Saturday and Sunday as those storms continue. Now next week we still track storms. Monday and Tuesday look to be the bigger of the storm days, but after that things really start to settle down and that does mean that we turn very toasty in the upper 80s. Could even see some 90s by the time we hit next Thursday. Wow, okay, Adam. Well, listen, we're going to continue to check in with you in our next hour and throughout the morning, uh, but we'll be right back after the break.